these scenes were filmed on board the Carpathia within a couple of days of her docking at Pier 54, New York. A number of young stewards from the Carpathia act up for the cameras. In these early days of cinema, these very long, unedited shots, moving photographs really, were very common. Captain Rostron's name is misspelt on more than one newsreel. Then there were the dramatized films. Well, the uh, first Titanic film was uh, produced in New York in uh, just within a month or so of the disaster, and it was called Saved from the Titanic. And it starred a young lady who had actually been a passenger on board the Titanic, Dorothy Gibson. The film was planned, written and shot in three weeks and released on May the 14th, 1912. No print of this film survives. It was made by Eclair, a French film company. Dorothy Gibson had been saved in lifeboat number seven, which was launched at 12.45 a.m. with only 28 people on board. Here she shows the location of the sinking. And here, she wears the same clothes in which she was saved from the Titanic. Here she's greeted by her father and her boyfriend, Ensign Jack. And these are the Eclair Studios in New Jersey. Following this, there was a German film uh, within a year of the disaster, and then we had to wait until 1929 for the next one, which was a British film, the first uh, British, all British talking film uh, called Atlantic. 
and um, Atlantic uh, had among its, uh, the members of its cast a young lady named Madeline Carroll. Uh, Atlantic was interesting in another respect. It was shot simultaneously. The set, same sets were used and uh, the English version uh, was shot and then they brought in another set of actors who did it in German. To make a comparison, here's a particular scene in English and then the same scene in German. The disaster scenes are excellently achieved. <laughs> 